Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I have for you three layouts for the Moment Like These Cut Above kits. We've already worked on these. So now we're on the back ones. And my goal today was to complete number eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now due to real life and not really caring for the layouts, I was only able to complete eight, nine, and 10. So those are the three I'll have to share today. Tomorrow I will have 11 and 12 completely done and we will be done with this whole kit. But with that said, today I went completely rogue on layouts. I didn't care for these. I didn't care for the ones, sorry Kelly, the ones in yours were great too. It just didn't fit my needs. So between real life, like I said, and the fact that I was kind of fighting what I was trying to do, I only got these three done. So let's get into them. Set that aside. So the first layout I did is called, in the book, it's Summer Memories. I wasn't feeling the summer memories. So I found this Memories are priceless. Just use the memories off of here and cut out our priceless from the Cricut. And I really liked it. The funny part with this layout was I had a hard time using the peacock paper. I, when I laid it down there, I was like, oh no, that's not going to work. And yet there was peacock here and here. So I thought, well, it's got to fit. You know, it's got to kind of work. Everything that they had for it you know, talked about peacock. So I was like, well, okay, let's play around with it. So I matted the peacock photo mats and then I loved it. I fell in love. So I am very happy with this layout. I think it's going to be great. The colors are very reminiscent of my middle daughter. She's my blue girl. Okay. So bluebell is the base on this. White is cut at eight by 10.25 and I centered it. This piece right here, oops, sorry, <laughs> I can move my fingers, right, um, is, let's see here, it is one and seven eighths, or approximately one and seven eighths. So this is, and I'm not sure if you can see it close enough, but there's a pattern paper here. And this piece right here is directly on that pattern piece of paper. And I can show you that. So basically I was able to get these strips by cutting the background on that. And then this piece, let's lay it over here, is right here. And I cut that completely out of the center of the paper. And then I cut this piece to, it's a good thing I write this stuff down somewhere. Cut the center bluebell and peacock pieces out and then cut it at three inches from the left side. So this, including this peacock part of it, is three inches and that leaves you with about six and five eighths inch. And I just kind of put that right there like it's shown. Okay, set that aside. And like I said, this piece right here, it's about one and seven eighths width after you cut off um, this part and you cut it straight down and then um, there is a it's a charcoal border around the whole piece of this that kind of you see a little bit of it here and there but it looks like I pretty oh here it is a little smidgy smidge right up there not that noticeable but that's because it's kind of rounded so it was hard to get the what is it 10 and 10.25 so 10 and a fourth out of it without getting a smidge like here's a little smidge of that gray but like I said you don't really notice it unless I'm pointing it out and then you're like I see it so I popped the little heart that came with this page I used this, these stickers I did not opt to use the green ones I didn't want to bring another color in I was already bringing this purple in so I just kind of left that off this is more of a almost a pewter I don't think it's really a charcoal, even though it had a charcoal border. If I felt like it was more of a pewter because I was kind of playing around with pewter and seeing if that would work and it, it didn't. Um, but I've got three three by fours. I've got three two and an eighth by two and an eighth because I had already cut these pieces to go on 
this little border piece. I was just going to kind of use it as a frame rather than a, a, a strip. And I just didn't care for it. I didn't like the green. The gray was too much. I just went with Peacock. It's a lot easier. Then there's another three by four over here. So a total of four, one four by six. So there's a lot of areas for pictures on this. And I think it's really cute. It could be for a girl or a boy. I know this writing's a little more feminine, but I do have girls. But if you were to change this and not put the heart on there, maybe put another star, totally be a masculine layout. Very fun layout to do. I was really happy with how that turned out. So the next one, again, I went rogue. I completely went rogue on these. This one, titling Moments Like These, I have a hard time using yellow. Um, I, it's not that I don't like yellow. It's not my favorite color. I love these flowers. But yellow is always a hard one for me. And the colors that they were putting with it, I was just not feeling it. So with that said, I started cutting out the around the outside of it. And in doing that, it gave me... I don't, I didn't keep the little pink piece, but it was, this was part of the center piece and there was a pink on it. I ended up cutting this piece down to go underneath this, but I'll get into those sizes in just a second. I love how this one turned out. It's so my oldest daughter. It just feels like Allie. So I used a charcoal base and I believe I used the darker of the, nope, I used the lighter side of the charcoal base and then I did white daisy at seven and three quarters by ten and a half I and I centered it I wanted a nice big border on that one then out of the Sundance the Sundance paper I cut those to two by eight and a half and I got two of those and two by seven and I used my triple banner punch because you can cut was at one inch, one and a half, and two inch. So I used the triple banner punch on that. And then I cut down this piece and this piece, this one to two by three, three and three quarters. And this leaf I cut to two by three. And then I used my handy dandy little tag punch on that. I was originally going to put some bows on these tags. And then I thought, no. Nah. And I found my little brads that I have. They're left over from uh, Stampin' Up! a long time ago. And I thought that kind of completed it really well. So this piece right here measures at, that's this one, 4.75. So 4 and 3 quarters by 6.75. 6 and 3 quarters. So 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. And it mats this, um, let's see, let me grab it. It mats this really nicely. I've got this cut out for the, the ones I haven't assembled yet. But it mats it nice. It's just from the kit. It was from the center of that piece of paper, and I'm using it, which is also a bonus. So when I cut these out, I got these strips. And actually, you can see a little tiny bit of pink on that one. So they would just go here, and then the second set would go down here. So those were nice. This is the tag. It's a little, just a little tag, just peeks up a little bit. I liked the print, but I didn't want too much of it. They used, um, if you look on the thing, they used quite a bit right here. And I just cut that down. I didn't use any of the pink pieces. I cut those all out. I gave them to my friend Nancy. I wasn't going to use this tag at first. And then I kind of thought, well, let's see what we can do. And so I put that flower on it and I thought, Perfect. It works really well. With the flowers, with that said, this is how they came. There's a couple more pieces that I didn't, I'm not showing right now. I ended up fussy cutting around every piece of this. Some of it, you know, you can see a little bit of white, but not near the amount of white that's on this. And it gives you a different look. I mean, if I had just put that there, mm, see maybe like that it's a lot of white but by cutting that out and it's kind of simplifying it a little bit it takes away a lot of that white area 
and you can kind of do a little more detailed. Honestly, I wish I had one more flower here. I could have used this one, but I liked how it kind of felt on here. Um, and I was happy with it. And I just slowly assembled it, slowly cut it out, slowly assembled, just took my time because I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to feel like I had I had taken the time to make this a special layout. So we have technically three four by three by fours, sorry, three three by fours. One of them I used for this card that came with the kit that was um, two and two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it fit nicely on the card, has a nice little mat. The, the three flowers are the only thing that are popped. My standard, I've got all those flat, glued them under there. Really, really liking how this turned out. Okay, and the last one to share with you today, let me grab that, is, oops, this way is how I, how I envisioned it. So this one came with a title that was huge. Grateful for you. I, it wasn't going to fit to start off with. So I have a person, my friend Nancy, who does 12 by 12s. So she's going to be the proud new owner of that, of that little uh, um, title piece. And this is our family, was I thought was plenty. The other option I have is I could actually take this off and put something else if I like to want to later. So this piece, if you look here, this was one piece with a big border on it. So I cut the border off and then I cut this piece right here. Oh shoot, I need to, to put that down a little bit. To, let's see, the floral pattern three, by two and a fourth. So this was about a two and a fourth inch after I cut off these borders and I got three, three inches and one that was a smidge smaller. Then I cut this next area of torn looking paper and I'm calling that the mixed pattern, two and three eighths. And again, I cut them in strips of three with one being slightly smaller than three. So I then didn't use the rest of that paper and I can show, oops, let's see here. It's this paper right here. So here's that border on it. This is what I had left. I have three of them. One of them I did cut all of the border off because I wasn't sure what it, where it was headed. So I used mink for the background and I didn't use any white or anything, just the mink. And then I took my bluebell shimmer brush and I flicked it all over just to give it a little bit more of a, a detail on the back. That's it. I put the little pieces here as you can see. This is for the, the next one I'll do. I've got three of them here. Actually I have five because I have eight of them. But you would just put these like this. And see nobody's going to know that that wasn't a full strip right across that whole piece of paper set those aside and then this piece again cut those two to three inches and I just kind of figured out where I wanted things and just kind of shoved them in um, on there and over here I wanted to see more of the gingham over here I wanted to see more of the zigzag and that's kind of how I how I went with it yes yeah, I have five I grabbed all I grabbed five of them um, I have all eight but that's just what I was going to show you there. Okay, so then I cut this piece, which is, I believe, pewter. Yes, pewter, five by seven, where I can get four out of one sheet of paper. And then I took my Stampin' Up! slot punch, and I did the top, and then I just kind of, you know, fluffed them. That's it, because I don't want them to look too perfect. This is supposed to, you know, look like kind of like a notebook. So I did that to all of those for the kids. Kids pages have not, of course, finished them. These photo mats are from the kit. And you got two four by fours, but they're like four and a fourth by four and a fourth. And one three and 
or four and an eighth by four and an eighth and one three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And so I had some left over from one of the other layouts. I don't even remember which one it was. So I grabbed those and I'm able to do all of my layouts with all of them because I didn't use them elsewhere. So that was kind of nice to have some little bits that I could do. The other thing I grabbed were these flowers and these were from, gosh, I want to say page one or two, but no, they were from this one, page three. Let me pull that up so you can see. There's just these little flowers right there. And I didn't feel like I needed it on that layout, but I'm sure glad I kept them. And so what I did, because they're a little turquoisey, is I took the Bluebell pen and I colored them. So they shimmer and they're kind of more matchy matchy with the layout. I also just got my order today and I had gotten some of the Bluebell gems on the Boxing Day sale. So I thought, well, I'm doing Bluebell, let's go with Bluebell. I actually used a different color gem, I know. Don't fall off your chair. But I put four of the gems on there. I didn't put gems all over, I didn't, I didn't feel it. I wanted it simple, simple and sweet. Um, I did use one of the hearts. I tried on one of the hearts from the kit to draw over it with the bluebell. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not that steady. So we're just leaving that, that little bit of color and it matches this. So it kind of pulls that color in and it matches the title. So I wasn't too worried about it. The other thing I'll say is when I put the shimmer brush onto the background and I was, I was hitting it, um, it was really dark. I was like, oh goodness, what did I do? And then it lightened up. I really, really like it. Let's see if I can, it's just got a little bit of a blue to it. It's not, you can kind of see the shimmer when I move it a little bit, at least I can see it in the camera. Um, and I could kind of see it on the, on the gems. Um, I'm really liking it. I will do more with those shimmer pins. I am impressed with how it turned out. The, um, the darkness, like I said, scared me at first, but then once it dried, it was perfectly fine. I will say be careful and let them dry because when I moved it, I kind of smeared it. Um, nah, I'm not going to worry about it. I think it looks fan-freaking-tastic. So I'm really, really happy with today's layouts. As hard as it was to get them done, it seemed like every time I would sit down to do something, I had a kid needing something or a husband needing something. Um, we ended up going to uh, Olive Garden for lunch and brought it home. You know, so it was just always like something we went and did and then getting back on track. You know how it is. You're just like, got to kind of get back in the role of it. So I did page eight, page nine, and page 10. Feel great about them. I'm excited tomorrow just to have two pages to do. We'll see what we come up with. I have a feeling I'm going to go rogue again. I'm not really loving these, and I'm not loving what Kelly did for my needs. Where They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I just They're just not for me. So with that said, I will see you tomorrow with two more layouts for a moment like these, and we will finish this up. And then we'll be on to other projects. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Just have, I can't mention, I can't say it enough. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you so much for subscribing and for leaving comments. I really appreciate them. And I'll try to respond as quick as I can on everything. So again, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.